That's my to rise in support of my dad, Kurt Nelson, for RNC committee man. If you've had the chance to meet my dad, you know that he is one of the greatest and most decent people that you will ever meet. However, there's another thing that you need to know about him, and that is that he has some of the greatest inner strength and resolve of anyone that I have ever come across. He's not the type to sit around and complain about the way things are, opine about the way that they should be, and then do nothing about it. Instead, he involves himself in the process, and working alongside others, works tirelessly to see his principles adopted and put into action. And that is why he's running for RNC. He wants to take our conservative Texas principles of faith, family, and the pursuit of the American dream to the RNC, and he is the right person for the job. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce my dad, Kurt Nelson, for RNC Committee Man. Good afternoon, my fellow delegates, my fellow Texans, and my fellow Americans. My name is Kurt Nelson, and I'm pleased to be here this afternoon and share with you uh, the reasons why I think I can represent you, the Republicans of the state of Texas, on the Republican National Committee in an effective and impactful way. The preamble to our 2010 State Republican Party platform began with this statement, the embodiment of the conservative dream in America is Texas. Throughout the world, people dare to dream of freedom and opportunity. The Republican Party of Texas unequivocally defines and defends that dream. I believe that with, each, with, uh, that with all of my heart, and if I'm elected as your national committee man tomorrow, I will take that, that message to the RNC with vigor, with uh, focus, and with determination. Our country is in a state of uh, crisis. We have seen that the liberal socialist agenda, it is, it is not the answer. It is leading us in a path of destruction. And while the problems are dawning, I believe that our best years are still ahead. Each of us must own the solution. I'm a proud second generation American. I know firsthand that the United States of America is a land of opportunity. And it is for anyone that is willing to work hard and make their dreams come true. All four of my grandparents came from Sweden. And, <laughs> and my dad, with a junior high education, pursued his American dream, and he achieved his American dream, and he worked hard, and he provided for us. And my mom and dad uh, were very active in working uh, in grassroots in the Republican Party in Wisconsin. And speaking of Wisconsin, Tomorrow, Paul Ryan, Congressman from the 1st Congressional District, where I grew up, will be here. And I, I'm so excited to be able to see Wisconsin leading out, as Texas has led out for many years. And so I just got to share what a great time to be here with us all. My Republican grassroots began in Wisconsin, working on the Ronald Reagan campaign in 1976 uh, at the University of Wisconsin. One of my strengths is that I'm able to build a consensus among con uh, constituents that yields result results. Thomas Jefferson wisely said, nothing gives one person so much advantage over another as to remain always cool and unruffled under all circumstances. On matters of style, swim with the current. On matters of principle, stand like a rock. As a past chair of the SREC Rules Committee, past chair of the SREC Resolutions Committee, chairman of the local school board, as county chairman, I have remained unruffled. I have stood like a rock, and I have exercised leadership in giving all members of the body the opportunity to participate. I have the experience and demonstrated results necessary to do the job. You can count on me to take the Texas story of grassroots decision-making to the RNC, work aggressively for a better alternative to our current presidential primary process. It is broken. And you can depend on me to help ensure the fiscal responsibility of the RNC. You have heard me mention several times this afternoon that we must own the solution. It's true. Each of us must own the solution. Ladies and gentlemen, in closing, I have the experience to serve as your national chairman or committee man. I'm able to serve, ready to serve, and ready to go to work. I will be a strong voice for Texas on the RNC. And I humbly ask for your vote tomorrow as uh, your committee man on the RNC. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. This afternoon.